Second Symphony Opening, composed by Alexander Borden. You should be familiar with the Mighty Handful, which Borden was a part of. I'll just list the five off for you, though. It was Miley Bilakriev, Modest Mazursky, Nikolay Rimsky Korsakov, Alexander Borden, and Caesar Queen. The group is sometimes called the Five in English, but they do this to forget about the sixth member of the group, which was Vladimir Stasov, who did not himself compose, but instead played a leading role in formulating the group's ideas on how they could create Russian nationalist music. So the point of the Mighty Handful was, in fact, to be Russian nationalist composers, and Borden was one of those five major Mighty Handful. So, track five. The symphony begins with an imposing opening, a unison line for the whole orchestra. The key is in B minor, but this is by no means obvious from the first phrase, which contains two notes foreign to the key. The phrase is then repeated with a new continuation that takes us into the key of D major. Another, faster thematic element enters, but it still leaves us undecided between two keys. Is the symphony going to be in B minor or D major? This differs markedly from the opening of most German symphonic allegros, where the main key is made clear from the outset but we can see this hovering between two closely related keys as bearing a distant relation to the folk principles of having two modal centers, paramenost. First imposing phrase comes back again over the course of the first movement. It will return several times with ever more grandeur and played in longer note value augmentation. The symphony is not a programmatic piece, but Borden saw his first theme as a representation of ancient Russian warriors Bogatyuri in other arts, and so the symphony acquired the Russian nickname Bogatyurskaya. Also, I apologize for my terrible pronunciation.